In this video, we'll learn about the labeling conventions that we'll use for electronic signals. In general, our electronic signals will have a time varying component that bears some information that we're interested in and a component that doesn't vary with time. In this case, we're looking at a current waveform, IC, but the same will be true of voltage waveforms as well. Note the notation we've used for the symbol IC, lowercase i and uppercase subscript C. That's the notation we'll try to stick to whenever we're talking about an electronic signal, including both its time varying signal bearing component and its DC or nominal value. We also have separate sy symbols for the DC component and the time varying component. We use the same letters IC to remind us that we're actually talking about the same branch current. But for the DC component, we use all uppercase letters, uppercase I, uppercase subscript, C. That's the DC component. The time varying signal bearing component, we use all lowercase letters, lowercase I, lowercase subscript, C. And you have to be careful here because for example, some letters like C, it's a little hard to distinguish between when it's uppercase and lowercase. We may also refer to the DC component of a signal as a bias or a DC bias. That's because the signal as a whole is sort of biased around this level, IC. Even when it's not carrying in information, it just sits at IC. These signal components are also identified on the plot. For example, at this point in time, The total value of the signal is lowercase i, uppercase c, and it's composed of the sum of the DC bias, uppercase i, uppercase c, and the signal component, lowercase i, lowercase c. One final convention to be aware of is that when the signal is composed of a sinusoid, we will refer to its amplitude with uppercase i and lowercase subscript c in this case. So ic refers just to the amplitude of the sinusoid. Although this notation can seem confusing at times, it's really useful for keeping separate track of all the different components of a signal. So just to review, we can also apply this type of notation to a voltage signal. So if we've got a voltage signal vs, we would identify the total signal with lowercase v, uppercase subscript s. I'll put these little markers to identify that that's our uppercase s. And then in general, this will be composed of a DC component, which is uppercase v, uppercase subscript s, and a signal component, lowercase v, lowercase subscript s. Finally, if Vs happens to be a sinusoid, we may say that the amplitude of the sinusoid is uppercase V, lowercase s.